हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो होप यू आर एंजॉइंग माई वीडियोज इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड हिट दैट लाइक बटन टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी शल सी ओप्पो एफ सेवन कैमरा इंटरफेस वेर आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन कैप्चर ब्यूटिफुल लैंडस्केप यूजिंग सम ऑफ दिस सेटिंग्स नाउ यू माइट बी थिंकिंग वाट्स द रियल सेटिंग दैट इज देयर इट्स जस्ट द टिपिकल मैनुअल सेटिंग्स दैट वी यूजअली डू एंड दैट्स हाउ यू कैप्चर द पिक्चर सो वॉट एवर द लैंडस्केप इज बट हे वेट आई विल शो यू कपल ऑफ सेटिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू रियली अंडर stand while you take the landscape picture if you want your pictures to be very professional alike then you need to see look at these settings so that is what i'm going to show you focus on this video understand the video and hopefully you'll take better pictures every single time let's begin with the video So dear friends as you can see this is the normal usual interface that you will be taking pictures with always and you might just move to the expert mode and tweak some settings here and there but what you really need to focus on is two things just look at this while we are in photo mode or even in expert mode it is available what you have to do the first thing is to bring the grid lines inside the interface here to get the grid lines what you have to do is to go to the settings menu here inside the camera just go to the settings and uh, once you are in setting what you have to do is to go to the camera over here and from here you enable this grid line this is really important and if you want pictures like professional very horizontal to the line everything very nicely compositioned you have to bring down this grid so just enable this grid and after that make sure if you want watermark you have the watermark but oppo doesn't give you to change the name unfortunately then you can disable it and once you enable the grid line now as you go to the camera user interface here you can see this beautiful grid line this is the three cross three grid line which will help you decide so how your picture is composited so as you can see now this grid line really helps get the horizontal in proper direction and as you can see already your picture is looking very professional alike and once you move to the expert mode as you can see you have to concentrate on the foreground as well as background element now since there is a pathway here and it is leading to this uh, museum or aquarium you can call this is the aquarium so as the pathway is leading to this aquarium now we know that the leading line is this one and as the viewer sees the image this will be your leading line and after that you can see this very beautiful mountain so what this does is this gives me a really nice composition once i take the picture it becomes as if like a wallpaper so this is the angle this is the type of thing that you should be looking for always you should be scouting the location to get this type of angled images so that is really important the next setting you want to change here is in the expert mode you have this ultra hd mode on you turn on this ultra hd and very steadily you have to hold the camera and take the picture now you have very very awesome image very detailed image of 63 megapixel which you can edit which you can share which you can print out uh, and get some really nice looking details the next setting you might be looking for is this three stripes once you go to the three stripe here what you have to do is go to the white balance and once you are in white balance just move this slider so that you get the accurate color every time so as you can see how the view is now you can make it little bit on the warmer side you can make it a little bit on the cooler side so as you can see how it changes as i move this slider up and down so once you think that this is the right color you want to take picture with just snap the picture so here you go and suppose what happens is as you can see there is a lot of clouds and blue sky over here and the foreground element is not bright enough so what you can do is you can use the ev exposure compensation exposure value is what this is called you can use this ev and just increase to 0.5 or one stop and as you can see how the picture is getting brighter now and yet the highlights are not blown too much so this way you can get very nice exposure compensation and just snap the picture there you have the perfect scene and perfect picture and the another option to consider on the oppo f7 while you are taking landscape images like this is to consider the super vivid mode so if you are a lot 
sharing pictures on the social media from the mobile itself you just turn on this super vivid mode and once you turn on as you can see it is very much saturated everything the blues the greens and all the colors are saturated and it will really look stunning on the mobile itself so this is where you can use the super vivid on you can use it for flowers of photography as well so these are the settings that you should be looking for when you take the landscape images so the first thing you have to see is the grid lines are turned on and you composite your pictures very well not tilting this way or that way so guys i hope this video was helpful enough in making you a better landscape photographer so next time when you are out to take some really good images let me know in the comments below what video you would like to see next on my channel and hope this video was helpful hit that like button and subscribe to my channel See you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.